Well, hello there, Darkfish Rally friends. For the very last time this year, from the service park here in Pavel Yonke. The Secto Rally Finland, David Evans, is done. And what a result we have. It's rubbish, isn't it? Well, it is rubbish, it's, but the result's great. I, it's Sunday afternoon. You get uh, Every rally, we get this feeling of like, oh, it's amazing, we're loving it. And then Sunday comes and it's like, oh, oh. I want to carry on for another. Let's go back 20, 30 years <laughs> and carry on for another three days. Finland is always that event, isn't it? Do you think you've cooked? Not back with you. Day, no, you can go I, home. I, I, I would have gone home. Carry Absolutely. On. No, definitely. Let's talk though about Elvin it's, Evans, David, because you know what? Elvin Evans has won this event, and there'll be those who say, well, Tanak's not here, Robin Pear's not here. It doesn't matter no. to Jot. His pace on the opening day when they were here said he's a real threat. He has found something different here. Yep. He has lifted his game. Yeah, totally. And we know that. We know that you know Kelly and Yonni talked about the fact that they tested in Tampere and they were ready for those stages on Saturday and, and Sunday as well in those conditions. So was Elvin. So was Elvin. Really you was. know, I, he would have beaten him. <laughs> he would have beaten you, Kelly. <laughs> I reckon. He'd have, he'd have kept things very <laughs> He would have kept tight. him honest. 100%. He really would have. And that's the big shame is that it would have been an amazing fight. And yeah. Toyota has this great policy of allowing its drivers to yeah. fight, and it would have been amazing. So. Yeah, no, it's great. And absolute all credit to Elvin Evans and to Scott Martin. Just good on you, boys. It's it's amazing. You, They drove yesterday with so much pressure. Yeah. You know, real genuine pressure. Thierry Neville pushing and pushing them all the way. Yeah. And they just did it. They it totally delivered. Pass. Saturday yeah, it was. was a strong day, 160 they, Not David. once did they look like they were going to make a mistake. Not once did you think, <gasps> goodness me, Elvin, just take it steady. Yeah. Not once. He looked like an absolute world champion. Oh, I totally agree. It was very much an in-control Elvin Evans this weekend. This is what he told us at the end of Sector Rally Finland. It was pretty pretty okay. Obviously, car was working really, really well, and uh, yeah, that was the outcome, so pretty happy. But it, emotionally, though, it's, it's the rally to win. You'd almost give the championship for a win in Finland. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure whether I'd go quite that far because the world championship is still pretty special, but... Uh, yeah, it's a nice thing to have on, on the CV, and I'm sure in years to come it'll be something uh, to look back and be proud of. But um, yeah, obviously at the moment I'm just happy to, to collect the points and move on to the next round. Hey, what are you going to do tonight? I don't know. I haven't even thought that far. So as David said, many, many congratulations. Well, to Toyota, but more particularly to Elvin Evans and Scott Martin. I really do hope, David, that this is the, you know, the turning point we've all been looking for. We all knew could and would come eventually. Elvin himself is keeping uh, keeping us, uh, you're trying to keep a, a lid on it, isn't it? Don't get carried away. It's not yeah. a turning point because from what Elvin said, he made a step with the car from Estonia to here. That step, chuck it in the bin. It ain't gonna work in Greece. He's got to yeah. not go back to the beginning. He knows where he is. The, the way that this will help is in terms of self-confidence, but equally, Elvin's an elite athlete. He is not sure on self-confidence. And that's, yeah. you know, in probably the last three or four years, that's one of the things we've absolutely seen. Yeah. You know, he's got the walk now. He yeah. does all yeah, of that, he does. doesn't he? He's, he doesn't need any more self-confidence. As hard as Toyota are working on their car, Hyundai are very much working on theirs. And the improvements, particularly here in Finland, really have been quite remarkable. A lot of that down to Esa Pekalapi, who sadly we lost very, very early on in the rally. But listen, you look at Thierry Neuville, before Estonia, if you said to him, we're going to give mm. you the result in Estonia and we're going to give you this result in Finland, he'd have absolutely knocked you over to take it. Mm. Uh, yesterday, he couldn't quite find the little bit extra he needed, David, to put a bit more pressure on Elvin Evans. I don't think he was ever going to be able to find that pace, but it's been impressive. The step that, forward from Hyundai very... again, they're getting there. That's the important thing. I, I think Hyundai for sure is getting there, but like you said there, Thierry, it's a step forward for him. I think going into yesterday, we kind of bigged the, that, that fight up. Perhaps we were unrealistic because I think psychologically, when Thierry looked at that car, he's looking at Elvin and the Toyota, he knows what that Toyota is capable of doing. I'm getting a bit bored of this kind of like, oh, the Toyota's born here, it's bred here, it's lived here, la la la. Hyundai is exactly the same. And I think that's a big part of the progression that we've seen across Estonia and Finland is the fact that the, the test base is here. So it's and, cumulative and miles. It's cumulative miles you know? and it's having a Finn like yeah. EP in there driving the car. Mm. Um, mm. So no, a great, great effort. You can't take anything away from Thierry. Like you say, it's 10 years since the guy was on the podium. So good for you, Thierry. And 
Yeah, yeah, for the whole team. We close in a little bit the gap on Calais. However, um, I think the gap is still far. Um, 30, 36 points on uh, four, four events left. So might be difficult. But uh, I mean, Elfen is very close now, um, at least closer than us. And he will put definitely a bit of pressure on, uh, on Calais. 36 points is far from impossible, though. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, anything can happen. Um, but uh, yeah. We have to see, I mean, the Toyotas are still very strong and uh, it's very tough to beat them, to be honest. So we have to find out. I mean, Kalle has definitely been first on the road in Greece. Uh, Oji is there for the big points as well. So uh, it could be a difficult weekend for him, but um, we're going to find out once we're over there. Dirtfish Live Center. But what is Dirtfish Live Center? New for 2023, Dirtfish Live Center has been warmly received by rally fans all over the world. Why? For one reason, it brings you right here, right to the heart of the action. Head to dirtfish.com, click on Live Center, and follow the rally second by second. Enjoy exclusive behind the scenes photos, videos, and analysis. What are you waiting for? Want to get involved? Simply enter your name and leave a comment. No signups or logins required. Catch all the action on Dirtfish Live Center. Let's talk about our third place driver. Oh. Another driver who needed a good result. Yes, he's had three podiums in the past. He had two in Kenya. He had one in Japan. Takamoto Katsuta has had a little bit of a torrid year. What a result this one. Yeah. Oh, it was great to see. It was absolutely fantastic. You know, I think there's part of us that wanted Temu to have the podium as well. Both of them, great stories. But Taka, you know, to go from where he was, he was on the floor in Estonia. Really? Totally. Yeah. You didn't even give yeah. him a hug. You know, the boy yeah. needed a hug at the end of Estonia. I, I didn't know whether I could or not. We'll give him a hug here. Really? That small mistake yesterday morning, didn't get flustered, stayed within himself, did his job, just kept the car where he needed it, built the, sp the speed back up and delivered today. You know, and no, again, sorry, Cole, like, like Elvin, <laughs> at no point did you think, whoa, just rein yeah. it in a bit there, yeah. Taka. You yeah. know, it was quite the opposite. Welcome to Dirtfish, where we'll teach you how to do this and this. And all you have to do is click this link. We'll see you soon. You know, it was an unexpected battle that we had between Takamoto Katsuta and Teemo Sunanen. That all came about because of that spin that we talked about. But Sunanen, once again, Estonia, here in Finland, showing he deserves his place in this team. If this has mm. been a job, app, well, okay, it's, it's, it's one part of it. If it's an initial job application, that's got him well and truly yeah. through the door. He's shown he deserves a shot in Greece and CER for Absolutely. me. We knew if he could be quick anywhere, he could be quick in Estonia, he could be quick here. Let's Not have a word of Sarah No, 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 let's no. have a word of it. And just put him in the car for Greece and put him in the car on tarmac. He could be the future, he could be the one. The biggest thing that we were concerned about with Temo Sunanen was that step up from the Rally 2 car to the Rally 1 car. He's shown he can deal with that speed, yep. so many congratulations to Temo Sunanen. It was wonderful to see him battling. David, I suppose the other notable performance we really have to talk about is Yari Mati and... No, no, it's Juho Hananen. I was going to say Yari Mati <laughs> and Juho Hananen. Uh, Quite possibly the bravest man brave in man, but just so much fun was had oh, in that car this weekend. It was great. It was just great to, to open the door, to see Yari Mati's face, and then just to look across at Juho, and he was just keeping it real the whole time. You know, this morning we spent ages with them before the start of the first stage, just laughing about how Yuho is going to keep it, you know, keep him in the middle. And he kept saying, 51 kilometers, 51 kilometers, all we need, just get through today. They've done brilliant. It's yeah. been an amazing story, quite a thing for yeah. Toyota to take the team principal and, and put him in that car and to put Akio Toyota. Amazing to see that guy here as well. Just, it's incredible, yeah. you know. So, it's not a pinch yourself moment, but to see a man of such standing, Damn such it. incredible standing, probably the most important man in all of the automotive world, was here chatting to Dirtfish, telling us- All week. Sorry. No, all week, David. It yeah, is, yeah. It is. But he, he has been here, yeah. hands on, all weekend. Yeah. It's been just the most incredible thing. Yeah, okay. Matty Latvila, we can't wait to see you back in We'll see him in, see him in a few days. We won't, but Lahti Historic. Yeah, absolutely. That would be Salika. great to see. Uh, you know, we could talk about one or two other drivers. Pierre-Louis Lubé, obviously, he had problems again this morning. You know, not a bad rally for him, not a great rally for him. We'll forget about the three, because we've talked plenty over the weekend that didn't make it through, David, unless yeah. you want to say anything about no. 
about no, any of our three. No, just, you know, and again, Lube's going to have taken more experience, difficult day today, but he's here, he's driving the roads, and he, for me, yeah. it, Friday was a bit of a nightmare. Really? That accident, that incident, yeah. but yeah. Lack of concentration, I suspect, and focus, and, and one or two other things. But we have to talk about our Rally 2 cars, WRC2 and Rally 2 cars. Oliver Solberg was exceptional out yeah. here this weekend, finishing sixth overall, I think nearly half a minute ahead of our WRC2 winner, Sammy Pyre. He showed some real resilience to yeah. me, David. Two nightmare rallies. The last one, a complete mm. nightmare, off on the first corner in his Rally 1 car. He's come here under, I think, he, he took a bit of the pressure off by deciding it wasn't a point scoring round, yeah. but he was under pressure. People were watching him. The expectation was that, you know, he would perhaps you know, compound those mistakes he made I, here over the past two years, but he didn't. He was magnificent. It, for me, Col, the thing was that you kind of felt that Oliver Solberg had been here for years. Yeah. He's done some rallies, some WRC rounds four times. He'd done this twice, and he'd made, he'd made two massive mistakes, like you say. It was a sensible, really sensible decision just to take that pressure away, but he delivered, he totally delivered. Played himself in a little bit Friday, hadn't driven a lot of those roads on Friday, never been in Mahimpa, but then as, as the rally progressed, he found his feet, he found his confidence, and I suspect at no point have we seen anything like the absolute maximum speed uh, from him. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think we saw maximum effort, maximum risk, but I think that resulted in close to maximum speed. Some of these stage times were just quite incredible, and I think they yeah. came because of what you're seeing. Just, just to relax. Yes. But equally, you would say... That was almost an hysterical yes, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. oh, I apologise for that. But equally, throughout the year, He's delivered stage times. Yeah. That's one yeah. thing he's not yeah, sure of. Exactly. He's won millions of stages, you know, perhaps now more than half of the stages in a Rally 2 car. Yeah. That is not a problem. You know, he's had some issues getting consistency to get to the finish, to get championship. Well, this is one for the podcast. Let's put it yeah. to one side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Championship or about. speed? WRC2, again, wonderful quality in WRC2. Sammy Pyre, many congratulations. Again, a young driver a lot of people are talking about. Toyota, Rally 2 car next year, Rally 2 team next year, perhaps Pyre there. Well, he's certainly showing that he can do it on the high-speed roads in Finland. It was a great battle, Pyre taking the win. Uh, Adrian Formo, second, really good performance from him as well this weekend. Uh, mm. More importantly, a great performance from the Fiesta Rally 2 car. And what we've heard from Formo on many occasions this weekend, there is more to come, a further development to that car, which has already made enormous yeah. leaps forward this year. So, David Evans, it has been the Secto Rally Finland. We've enjoyed it. We've seen some torrential rain. We've seen some unexpected incidents and accidents. We have seen some magnificent driving, and we have perhaps seen the renaissance of Elvin Evans. What a week. Yeah, it's, it's been amazing. Finland always delivers. If you told us that when we were getting up at half past four in the morning, not quite so enthusiastic. But then you get up, you have a cup of coffee. It is the absolute mecca for rallying. It always has been, it always will be. Sad to say goodbye to it for another year. But yeah, thank you once again to the team yeah. here in Evascula for delivering a brilliant round of the championship. They have delivered a brilliant round. And if you've missed any of that brilliant round of the championship, press that button there. It will take you to the Dogfish Live Centre. And you can go all the way back to Thursday evening to Harryu. Pictures, videos, analysis, all sorts of information there for you folks. Thank you very much once again for joining us here at dirtfish.com for the Sector Rally Finland. We've got a ball and we'll see you all in, would you believe, David? It's a month until rally, the Acropolis Rally. A what month. are we going to do? Don't know what we're going to do, but we'll see you all there. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, my friend. It was me. I'm sorry. Sorry. Keep those.